Like, did anyone else hear this headline and feel like, wow, there's this immediate pressure um, that like if kids are going back to school, like everything will just be fixed. Ali Sullivan was one of many teachers who contacted us after the state's latest announcement on the vaccine rollout in Oregon. Governor Kate Brown said teachers will be next in line to get the vaccine, going before seniors, after news that the federal government would not send enough vaccine immediately to cover both groups at the same time. When Brown was asked why teachers were going first, she said students must get back in school, that their lives may depend on it. I made the decision based on the fact that we have got to get our children back in school. I know of families where 12 and 13 year olds are committed, committing, attempting suicide. Um, I talked with um, the CEO and president of Salem Health on my vaccination tour this week. Um, she is hearing of many 11 and 12 year olds attempting suicide. We know that um, our schools are a place of social interaction. Um, they're a place where um, young people, students can get their um, behavioral health and emotional supports met. Allie said while she was grateful educators were getting the vaccine, she and her colleagues do not have the training to help students thinking about suicide. How much unintentional harm actually comes from people thinking they're doing the right thing by pushing children back as soon as possible, but like no regard for like, do all of our teachers need to have training to be able to handle children coming to school that are suicidal or depressed? Because I don't have that. Like I don't have any of that support to, to make sure a child who is dealing with those kinds of very important and serious and valid things, that's not going to be fixed at school, not by me. The Oregon Education Association, the state's largest teachers union, agrees. They said teachers needed this training and students needed help before the pandemic. They told us in a statement, as schools across Oregon begin the process of physically reopening and students return to the classroom, it is critical that we ensure our schools have the wraparound services that students will need to thrive. Recent data from the Oregon Health Authority shows a slightly lower rate of teenage suicide-related emergency room visits this year compared to last. But thoughts about suicide are up among young people since last year. The CDC reported this summer as many as one in four people, 18 to 24, seriously considered suicide in the 30 days before the survey. And according to Lines for Life, a suicide prevention group in Oregon, calls to their youth hotline are up 38 percent from March to the end of 2020 for a variety of reasons. We've heard from kids struggling in Oregon and Washington. 13-year-old Melanie Gabriel said distance learning has been hard on her. So it was just so frustrating that I... Um, I, I couldn't do it anymore. I was having, like, mental breakdowns daily multiple times a day. She dropped out of school so, in the spring um, before getting help and re-enrolling this fall. Her mom said this like is we, dire. If we don't find like a solution soon, it, we're going to lose a lot of kids. Like I, I know lots of people who have lost their children this year and I fight every day to keep mine alive. So someone really needs to do something about this. It's a real problem. But teachers like Allie question if they are prepared to help these kids in the right way once vaccinated and back in class. I think it's it's a lot of guilt around feeling like, am I important enough? Am, is my health priority enough? And it's such a murky answer. And and I guess that's why the emphasis that Governor Brown has chosen to put on children's mental health um, felt like, wow, this is a super simplification because many of us are cutting the line for seniors which feels awful. And then when we get back, it's like, you've got the vaccine, so we should, this should be fixed now. And it was really messy to get there. The number for the National Suicide Prevention Hotline is 1-800-273-8255, and that is available 24 hours a day. I did reach out to Governor Brown's office about this. Spokesman Charles Boyle told me, well, he sent me a long statement, and it says in part, quote, it's absolutely critical that we return Oregon students to in-person instruction as quickly as possible. When they are with students in the classroom, teachers, school-based health professionals, and other educators are often the first to notice and identify when a student needs help.
He said and to connect that student with behavioral health services. Many schools also have counselors, school psychologists and other specialists on site who can engage with students and their families when school buildings open. It's definitely a complex issue and it is not easy. What do you think about this? We want to know. Give us your thoughts. Give us your opinion. Just use the hashtag. Hey Dan.